Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jonathan. I'm here at Florida CDL and today we'll be going over a class A vehicle inspection. I'm going to be using my class A checklist here and as I go through each part of the inspection, I'll be marking that off. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start the engine and build my air pressure up to 120 to 140 pounds, the governor cutoff. So now the air pressure is between 120 to 140 pounds. I'm going to start by checking the truck parking brake. So we're going to push the trailer brake down, put the truck in drive, and we're going to touch the gas to see if the truck is moving. All right, so the truck is not moving, which means the truck parking brake is working properly. So now we're going to pull the trailer brake out. Now we're going to check the trailer brake, so we're going to push the truck brake down. Same thing, you'll have the truck in drive and try to go forward. Alright, so again the truck or trailer are not moving, so the trailer parking brake is working properly. Now we'll check the service brake. So I need to go forward at 5 miles an hour and stop with the service brake. And when I stop, the truck or the wheel cannot move to the left or to the right. So let's go ahead and do that. So release the truck, the trailer brake, put the truck in drive. We're going to leave our hands close to the wheel and go forward. In this case, we see the wheel moving to the left, which means we'll need to adjust the brakes. In the case where the wheel stays straight, the service brakes will be working properly and the wheel or truck did not move left or right. So now we'll return back to the starting position. put the truck in neutral and put the parking and trailer brakes back on. Now I'm going to go ahead and wait for the air pressure to build back up between 120 to 140. Now my air pressure is between 120 to 140. The governor cut off. I now can start the air brake check. Engine off. Putting the switch on. Now we'll put our foot on the brake just lightly. Release the parking and the trailer brake. Now I'm waiting for the air pressure to stabilize. All right, the air pressure has stabilized. So now we're gonna check in one minute that I cannot lose more than four pounds. So we'll get the timer and start. All right, one minute pass and my truck has no leaks, no more than four pounds. In the case where you do see the truck leaking, you will mention that the truck has a leak more than four pounds. Now we're gonna mention at 55 pounds or before, the warning brake alarm will activate. So now I'm gonna start pumping or fanning the brake until the alarm activates. Right, the brake alarm activate, so that means it's working properly. I can hear and see it. Now between 20 and 45 pounds, the parking and trailer brakes will both activate or pop out. So we're gonna keep pumping or fanning the brake until both of them pop out. One. 
and two. So the parking and trailer brake have activated or popped out. They are working properly. All right, and from there goes so far the cabin and brake test portion. As we see here, we did the parking and trailer brake check, service brake check, and the air brake check. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the lighting indicators or checking the lights on the inside. So we will start with the ABS and DEF lights, which they went on and off, which means they're working properly. From there, we'll move to the left turn signal, right turn signal working properly. The four way flashers are working properly. Then we have the low beams, that's putting the switch up working properly and the high beams pushing this one forward working properly from the lighting indicators we'll move to the emergency equipment so here on the floor we have a red box of three reflective triangles a full charged fire extinguisher secured to the clamp I can check it's full with the gauge and I have one box of extra fuses Next, we'll move on to the windshield. My windshield is properly mounted and secure, clean and visible, no cracks, no illegal stickers or obstructions. Next, we have our traffic monitoring devices or the mirrors. They're all properly mounted and secure on both sides, clean and visible, no cracks and in my position or facing me. Next, we're gonna talk about our wipers. So first, we'll check that they're working. Wipers are working properly. Next, we're gonna mention the wiper arm, blade, and rubber are secure with no cracks or cuts. And then we'll check the washer fluid, holding this button in the middle. Washer fluid is working properly. Next here we have the heater and defrost. So first we'll start with the heater. Put the fan on four. Make sure it's facing you, not in the cold setting. And put this on high. So the heater is working properly. Then we're gonna check the defrost. So we're gonna move this one all the way to the right. Check on top. And the defrost is working properly. Then we can turn that off. Next, we have the horns. That's gonna be the electric horn or city horn working properly. And the air horn or country horn, if there was one, we would pull it and mention it's working properly. Now from there, as you can see, that's gonna be the last step of the in vehicle or engine start. Now we're gonna move on to the lights check on the outside, all external lights. All right, guys, so now finishing the in vehicle or engine start, we're going to go ahead and move on to the all external lights check. So I'm going to go ahead and send the examiner outside of the truck to assist me checking all the lights on the front of the truck, back of the truck and the rear of the trailer. All right, sir, we're going to start with the left turn signal. Good. Right turn signal. Good. The four way flashers. Good. My low beam. Good. And high beam. Good. All right, then we're going to check the clearance lights up top. Working. All right. All right, sir, can you go to the back of the truck, please? All right, sir, left turn signal. Working. Right turn signal. Working. My four-way flashers. Working. My brake lights. Working. And the uh, park lights? Working. All right. All right, sir, can you go to the back of the trailer, please? All right, sir, left turn signal. Working. Right turn signal. Working. My four-way flashers. Working. My brake lights. Working. And the clearance lights. Working. All right. All right, guys, so now after making sure that I did everything inside the vehicle in-start cabin inspection, I'm gonna go ahead and get down to the truck and start with the front of the vehicle. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start the front of the vehicle or the engine area inspection. 
First on my checklist I have are the lenses. So we're gonna name the headlights, the side marker, and the clearance light lenses. They are all secure, not cracked, broken, or missing, and they are in the proper color. So that finishes lenses. Next, we're gonna check our fluid levels. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the hood. We're going to start on this side. Our first fluid level is going to be the coolant tank. It is properly mounted and secure. It has no cracks or leaks, and it's in the proper level between add and full. Now we're going to move to the other side and check our second fluid level. So our second fluid level is going to be the engine oil dipstick. It needs to be between add and full. To check, we would remove the stick, clean it, put the stick back, remove it again, and we can check our oil level. Next, for our third fluid level, we're going to go ahead and start the power steering tank. It is properly mounted and secure. It has no cracks or leaks and it's in the proper level between add and full. So there we finished the fluid levels. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to fluid and air leaks. So in this part, we're gonna mention all the engine hoses and air lines. They are properly mounted and secure on both sides with no cracks or leaks. And also under the engine, there are no puddles and no dripping in the engine compartment. So there we finish fluid and air leaks. Next, we're gonna move on to our steering systems. First, we're gonna go ahead and start with our steering box. It is properly mounted and secured to the chassis. There are no cracks or leaks and no missing bolts or nuts. We're gonna also mention our steering hose. Properly mounted and secure on both sides with no cracks or leaks, and they are not worn. Now we're going to move into the steering components. We're going to start with the steering arm, steering link, my upper control arm, the lower control arm. We have that one right down here. And on the bottom, we have the tie rod. They are all properly mounted and secure. They have no bends or rust. There is no missing bolts, no missing castle nuts, or missing cotter pins. And my joints and sockets, they are all secure, clean and greased, and they have no play. So that covers our steering systems. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our steering axle and first start with our tires. So we're gonna mention the tires, they are properly mounted and secure. They have no cracks, cuts, or bubbles. There are no bumps or bulges on the sidewalls. The tires, they have good air pressure. We can check with a pressure gauge to the valve stem. Now we're gonna mention that the valve stem and cap are both secure with no cracks or leaks, and the cap is on tight. Also, my front tires have more than 432 inch of thread, and the rear tires have more than 232 inch of thread. And we can check this with a thread gauge or a depth gauge. Now we're gonna move on to our rims. The rims are properly mounted and secure. They have no cracks, bends, no illegal welds or rust. Moving on, we have lug nuts. So we're gonna mention all the lug nuts. They are present and tight. They are not loose. There is no rust or damage. 
and there are no shiny threads or broken studs. All right. Now, after our lug nuts, we're going to go ahead and move on to the spring mounts. So right here, we have our spring mounts. They are properly mounted and secure on both sides to the chassis. They have no cracks, bends, no illegal welds, no missing bolts or nuts, and there's no missing or damaged bushing. Next, we have our leaf springs, properly mounted and secure on both sides to the spring mounts. They are not cracked, broken, or missing. They are not shifted, and the truck is sitting level. Next, we're going to move on to shocks or the shock absorbers. They are properly mounted and secure on both sides with no cracks or leaks and no missing bolts or nuts. All right, so that covers spring mounts, leaf springs, and the shock absorbers. Next, we're going to move on to brake hoses and leaks. So right here, we have our brake hose. It is properly mounted and secure on both sides to the coupling and fitting with no cracks or leaks. And the air is passing through, or we can mention can supply air. And to finish off the front of the vehicle, we're going to talk about our brake contaminants. So we're going to mention two parts of this. We have our brake shoes right back here. And up towards the front, we also have the brake drum. So my brake shoes and brake drum, they are properly mounted and secure. They have no cracks or bends. They are not worn and there is no fluid on them. No oil or grease. And from there, we have finished our front of the vehicle or the engine area inspection. All right, guys, now we're going to go ahead and start the side of the vehicle inspection. First on our checklist, we have lenses and reflectors. In this case, I'm going to mention my side reflector and also the brake light lenses. They are all secure, not cracked, broken, or missing, and they are in the proper color. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to traffic monitoring devices, or we can just say our mirrors. So we'll walk up here. We're going to mention our mirrors are properly mounted and secure to the brackets. They are clean and visible. They have no cracks, and there's no missing bolts or nuts. Now, my brackets are properly mounted and secure to the door. They have no cracks or bends, and there's no missing bolts or nuts. So that covers traffic monitoring devices. Next, we're going to move on to our batteries. So first, we will mention that the battery cover can open and close properly. Then we're going to mention that the batteries, they are properly mounted and secure. They have no cracks or leaks. All the cables and connections are secure with no cracks or cuts. And there is no corrosion on the battery. Go ahead and make sure we close the battery cover. Next, we have our fuel and depth tanks. So our fuel and depth tank, they are both properly mounted and secured to the chassis. There are no cracks or leaks on the tanks. No missing bolts or nuts. No cracks or leaks on the lines. And the caps, they are both secure and tight. Next, we have our frames. So in this part, we're going to cover the truck frame. And we'll walk to the back. And we'll also mention our trailer frame. So the truck and trailer frame, they are both properly mounted and secure. They have no missing or damaged frame members. We have all the frame members properly mounted and secure. They have no cracks, no broken welds, and there are no holes. And also, the floor of the trailer, or we can mention the cargo area, it has no holes. 
And from the truck and trailer frame, we have finished the side of the vehicle inspection. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and start our combination vehicles only. First on the checklist, we have the air and electric lines and connectors. So first, we're gonna start with our air lines. They are properly mounted and secure on both sides for the coupling and fitting. They have no cracks or leaks. Next, we're gonna mention our coupling and fittings. They are all secure with no cracks or leaks. Next, I have my GLAD hands. They are properly mounted and secure in the lock position with no cracks or leaks. And in the middle of them, we have rubber seals. They are properly mounted and secure with no cracks or leaks. Now we're gonna move on to the electric line. Properly mounted and secure on both sides with the connectors. They have no cracks, cuts, and no wire exposed. Now the connectors, they are both properly mounted and secure all the way in on both sides with no cracks. Now we're gonna mention both the air lines and electric line, they are not pinched, they are not tangled together, and they are not touching the frame. Moving on in the combination, we're gonna go under the trailer and first mention our apron. So we can see the apron here. My apron is properly mounted and secure. It has no cracks, bends, or damage, and there is no rust. Now, between the apron and the fifth wheel, there is no light, no space, or gap, and my trailer is lying flat on the fifth wheel. Now, we're going to mention the fifth wheel plate is fully greased and it is properly mounted and secured to the platform base. There's no cracks, bends, or damage, no rust, and there's no missing bolts, nuts, or missing pins. Next, we're gonna mention our platform base is properly mounted and secure to my chassis. There are no cracks, bends, no illegal welds, and no missing bolts or nuts. And also, the fifth wheel handle is securely mounted all the way in. Right. Next, we're gonna move on to locking and safety devices. So coming under the trailer here, right in the middle of our fifth wheel, we have two parts, the locking jaw and the kingpin. We're gonna explain the locking jaw is secure around and holds the kingpin in place. My locking jaw and kingpin, they are secure with no cracks, bends, or damage, and they are not worn. And between my locking jaw and kingpin, there is no play. And from our locking and safety devices, we have finished the combination vehicles only. All right, guys, now we're gonna be starting the trailer only section of the inspection. First up, we have our landing gear. It is properly mounted and secure. It's all the way up and secure to the trailer with no missing parts or damage. Next, we have the support frames and pads. They are properly mounted and secure. They have no cracks or bends and no missing bolts or nuts. We're gonna also mention the landing gear handle is securely mounted all the way in. Next, we're gonna talk about the clearance. So there is proper clearance between my truck and my landing gear. Next, we have the reflective tape. So right here, we have our DOT reflective tape, properly mounted and secure, not cracked or damaged, clean and in the proper color. Next, we're gonna mention the lenses for the trailer. So right here in the front, we're gonna first mention the side marker lenses. We're 
gonna walk towards the back. Now we have the brake or tail light lenses, and on top we have the clearance light lenses. They are all secure, not cracked, broken, or missing, and they are in the proper color. Now back here we also have reflectors, so we're going to mention the DOT reflector tape, properly mounted and secure, not cracked or damaged, clean, and in the proper color. And from there we have finished our Class A pre-strip inspection.